In case you didn't catch last month's Q Talk, here's what you missed. But we actually have a great, fun thing to do right now. This is so, this is so, um, like Carson. I... Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we're so excited to have a New York singer-songwriter with us tonight who's going to be singing a track off of his latest album, Misadventures of a Careless Youth. Ladies and gentlemen, Sean Barker. <laughs> Actually, Dwayne Robert, our usual stage manager, his partner. So it was incredible, as usual. We you love having you. The top of that song, you sound always incredible. Thank Great you so voice. much. It was so a I want to ask you: when you did yes. your debut album, yes. "Other Side of Me," oh, okay. no, 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 that was Linda Etter's that album that I had four right. songs on. My no hard album. feelings. Yes. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> Try doing it without glasses, what? Um, 
your debut album, No Hard Feelings, and then yes, Linda Etter picked up four different songs that you wrote, yes. and the title track being Other Side of Me. That is correct. What was that? Linda Etter, right, people? Love I mean, her. Yeah. She's fabulous. How was that? You know what? It was amazing. Um, at that time. She a bitch? No. <laughs> Oh my God! No, she could I'm not kidding. be. She Sweeter, could, right? seriously, she could not be farther from a bitch. Yeah, right. I know a lot of people want her to be a bitch, but no. but you know what? I, know. I love hearing that with people. Somebody with that amount of talent who's also nice. You know what it's I'm saying? Just like me. Not only is she nice, but incredibly, <laughs> she's incredibly gracious. Mm -hmm. um, I opened up for her in uh, yeah, California. You toured, you toured with her for a while, right? And not only did she allow me the opening slot at her show in L.A., but she actually came out on stage and introduced me wow. personally yeah, to see. the audience. Wow. What else do you um, want? You know what I mean? She's so amazing. Did, how did that, I mean, you know, back in the day, with that debut album, your new song right now, would you just get a call from Linda Etter? I mean, what was that? Uh, no, I know actually, managers it's and funny. agents and um, stuff, but did you freak? My first album ended up getting the attention of a young A&R guy at Epic Records who introduced me to a wonderful producer named Billy Stein who actually produced my new record. He was also a keyboard player for Linda Etter and was hired to produce The Other Side of Me record. And to audition to get that gig, he played her the song that he produced for me as a demo. And she fell in love with the song. Um, and liked my voice, so she wanted to meet me, and she ended up covering that song, and then we wrote three more for her. Wow. That is amazing. But the, actually, uh, was it the last time we saw you? you? We were at the Out Music Awards with Todd, as a matter of fact. That is correct. Oh, right. The Out but you weren't always an out artist. I was not. Oh, dun, dun, dun. And it, that's why it's very, very special for me to be here this evening, because when I came to Q-Talk for the very first time, I think it was June of 2009, um, I was in a very not so stable place creatively and professionally and wasn't really sure what I wanted to do next. And um, it was coming to Q-Talk and watching the show that was the final catalyst in me deciding to be an officially out artist. Aww. Aww. So. We love him. We're making a deal. <laughs> Which was absolutely probably the most important decision I have ever made. I feel wonderful. Here I am two years later promoting this record, um, which is very, very, very special to me. Um, a lot of these songs I've been sitting on for years um, because I didn't feel safe telling these stories. Yeah. I was going to ask you, you must have just felt the freedom, I mean, just to really tap into, it must have affected your songwriting. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, a lot of the stuff is, you know, Sort of painful because I went through a very, very awful breakup around the time that we met. Mm -hmm. um, but you know what? Hearing the record back when we finished it and hearing those songs that I wrote from that experience made it all worth it. So oh, thank you, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out, motherfucker. No, yeah. <laughs> But see, that, that's, that was the interesting part about it because hearing that song and everything, and it, it just sounds so personal. So is the whole album. Just a personal journey? Every song that I wrote on the record, I um, wrote or co-wrote uh, nine of the ten songs. The last song is a cover song. Um, but yes, it's very, very personal. Um, I write about a friend's drug addiction, um, being betrayed by my best friend. Not this one. <laughs> I, I was going to say Todd. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He, he came along afterward. <laughs> and he's been wonderful. Wow, so through pain. Um... Yeah, I mean, there's a lot about relationships. Um, there's one song in particular that um, is where the title of the record comes from. Um, the song is called Stupid. <laughs> it's towards the end of the record. But um, Misadventures of a Careless Youth um, comes from, you know, one of the verses of that song. And that song is basically about, you know, coming into my own here in New York and um, basically just realizing How that... How long have you been in New York? Good, you know? I've been in New York 15 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, since the day after I graduated high school. Wow. And you just came I out just and totally dated now. myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, babe. <laughs> You're a youngin', believe me. <laughs> so, will you do another song from your album? And by the way, album, talk about dating yourself. Okay, thank you. 
By the way, our gift basket, if you filled out your little Q-Talk things in our gift basket, you're going to, if you win, you're going to get Todd's uh, album, CD. Sean. Sean's album. Sh not Sean. Todd. Fuck you, Todd. You're See, gonna unless get Sean Todd's. brought one, too. All night long, I've been calling Todd Sean and Sean Todd. <clears throat> but who cares about that? On a special note, I would just like to say that um, this album, another reason why it's very special to me is because I am donating... 100% uh, of my artist royalties to the Trevor Project. Oh, so, wow. uh, That's yeah, great. I yeah. um, I gave a speech at my uh, my cousin's high school uh, earlier this year, and um, it was an incredibly powerful experience for me. And I ended up revealing for the first time that I I indeed attempted suicide when I was 14. Um, and thank God I did not follow through and I'm still here and everything that's happened in the 16 years since um, has been incredible. The good, the bad, and I feel so just blessed to be sitting here and performing for you guys here tonight. So, And we're very happy that you did it because you get to sh we get to share in your talent, and, and which is incredible. So yeah, I love you guys right. and I will come back anytime you guys invite me. Absolutely. So now that you know that 100% of the proceeds Go to the Trevor Project, tell all your friends, and go out and buy it. Where can we get the album? It actually has not been officially released yet. Ooh. 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 So you're lucky if you win. She's actually holding one of the very first copies. Um, it's not going to be released until the fall, but um, I wanted to have it here tonight so uh, gorgeous, I could share it with you way. guys. Don't so you love it? It'll be officially it? released, um, hard copy, and uh, on iTunes uh, sometime this fall. Fabulous. And you'll do another song for us, Sean? Absolutely. Thank you. Sean Barker. Thank you. Thank you. So this next song, um, I feel very, very happy to be doing this song at Q Talk. I actually probably won't get much of a chance to perform the song uh, in my set to promote the record because it's one of the more stripped down numbers. But um. This song was kind of a milestone for me, uh, lyrically and emotionally and personally. Um, this is the first song where I allowed myself to specifically address another man in my lyric. So this is called Embers. was gone first time I saw that smile It was too easy, I should have known Now God help me, there's smoke for miles And I've never been so far from home Well, I walk straight into your fire Knowing full well my world could burn I took a step onto the wire I was safe, I had your word But suddenly I'm crashing Now I see man asking Too much of a broken man You see my heart the truth. 
Thank you so much. We Can't love you. Back. Oh my Thank God. You. And whatever you do, keep, keep on keep talking. <laughs>